the birds are literally like yelling right in front of me. I'm not even kidding. Look at them. I wanted to eat my breakfast outside, but it's just like, it's a bad day. Like it's gloomy and the birds won't shut up. So I think I'm just gonna go back inside. I'm just gonna eat my breakfast on the floor right next to all these plants because that's one way I can connect with Mother Nature's sitting next to plants. But yeah, I really wanted to eat outside. I literally wrote it down on my planner yesterday. Wake up early and eat my breakfast outside so I can, I don't know, get some photosynthesis going on. Even though today was bad weather, for the most part, spring has like really sunny days and I really love all the flowers that are blooming. Like every time I see a flower blooming, it just like makes my heart happy. But the one thing I do hate about spring is all the freaking bugs. Like I always forget spring has bugs until I start seeing them in my house more. And it's always like such a jump scare, like I'll just be chilling and then this like freaking spider big ass mosquito just like flocks in my face and it like always scares me so bad. Like I'm not even kidding, every night before I go to sleep, there's at least one bug without a fail that's like in my room and I just want to go to sleep, turn the lights off, but this bug won't leave me alone. Like it just like has to make the loudest noises like buzzing against the wall or it has to like fly in front of my face and scare the shit out of me. And so like it's just like it's a battle every night before I go to sleep. And I just feel like every year they're evolving. Like forget, forget climate change. What about bug change? because I swear I saw a bug that didn't have wings last year and now it has wings this year and it can fly. And I just feel like there's more and more bugs each year. And I just feel like maybe it's a problem. Maybe it's a problem that there's so many freaking bugs. There's this Yo Gabba Gabba song called I Love Bugs and it's actually a really, really good song. I'm gonna play it now so y'all believe me. Right, like it's a good song, right? But instead of I love bugs, it should be I hate bugs because bugs are the most disturbing type of species on this planet. Okay, wait, wait. I feel like I just need to clarify for some reason because I sound really evil right here. I don't hate all bugs, okay? I think it was just really early in the morning and I was kind of grumpy, so that's why I sounded so like mean. I'm not, I'm not a mean person, which is why I'm like editing this because I'm like, I sound like I'm evil here. I don't hate bugs because hate is a very strong word. Like, I like some bugs. Like, I like ladybugs. They're pretty cool. And I also really like um, moths. Like, the really fluffy ones are really cute. But yeah, um, not all bugs. Not all bugs, okay? Um, don't cancel me. Um, yeah, back to the video. But yeah, anyways, that's my beef that I have with bugs. Um, I'm just gonna finish my breakfast.
I was gonna do my makeup and do my hair all cute and put on a cute outfit to film this, but then I was laying in bed and I was like, why? Why do I feel the need to dress up and make myself someone that I'm really not? Or just present to y'all someone that I'm really not, you know what I mean? I don't know, I'm just kind of trying to find the balance between myself and the person that I want to present myself as for YouTube. I don't want to have to put up a character every time I film something and I'm still growing and still trying to figure out what I want my videos to be like. So this is a whole journey for me and I just wanted to like thank you guys for anyone that's watching because I'm still very much like not sure of what direction I'm going in. So I appreciate anyone who's watching and is like at least enjoying the videos. <coughs> <clears throat> ramen. Ramen came back up. But yeah. Basically, um, yesterday I went to a coffee shop with my friend to sketch some ideas out because I want to film a YouTube video intro. I don't know, I just want my channel to be more like personalized to my style because right now I just feel like it's just a video. There's nothing really special to my videos, so I want to make my videos more special. My sister actually gave me this really, really great idea to make a stop motion video with the little clay characters that I make. For those of y'all that don't know or that are new here, which I'm assuming might be a lot of people because I'm a new person here, okay? YouTube is, even though I've made videos for like eight months, it still feels like I haven't been here for a while. I make little clay characters. This is an axolotl and another axolotl, but it's a purple one. But yeah, I just uh, love making these little keychains. Not, not the ramen stain on my shirt. Anyways, I love making these ramen, I mean these, uh, axolotl keychains and I just wanted to incorporate one of these into my YouTube so the way we're gonna do that is I don't really know I don't really know how to make a claymation video I'm just assuming it's like what I assume which is taking a picture like every second and moving the clay which probably isn't as easy as it looks I have a tendency to start things because I think it'll be easy and then it ends up being really hard and then I start crying because of how frustrating it gets and then I give up and never, you know, finish it. So um, I'm hoping that's not the case, but I'm gonna keep my expectations a little low. So yeah, I'm gonna try not to overcomplicate this and yeah, we're gonna start on my mini YouTube intro. I hope you guys are excited. Keep watching to see the final result. I'm very curious too what the final result is gonna look like. <laughs> This is what I've come up with so far. It's not perfect and I could definitely make it better, but I really don't feel like it. I feel like that one episode of iCarly where Spencer was doing the stop motion thing and then he like started freaking out when someone moved it. No one touch that! Okay, Mr. Space Hamster, we're... Okay, I finished making the claymation thing and I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to share it with y'all. Um I was thinking of putting it at the beginning of the video, but then I was like that will ruin the whole surprise. So, yeah, I'm going to play it in 3 2 1. Did you guys like it? I didn't work that hard on it. It was actually really easy. I only got frustrated like a few times, but that was like my fault. I kept cleaning the clay with a cotton swab and then I would accidentally leave the cotton swab like right next to it. So the cotton swab kept getting in the picture and I was like, oh my God, there's a freaking cotton swab in the freaking clay. There can't be a cotton swab in the claymation video. So I had to go all the way back and like repeat my steps, but that only happened twice. Honestly, it was really fun. I would like to do another claymation video again, maybe 
I don't know why I would need to, but just for fun, maybe one day I will. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This week I'm working on a mini Etsy restock and I've been meaning to make more of my axolotl keychains. They come in pink, purple, and black, but I quickly realized that the pink ones are definitely more popular than the other two, so this week I'm just going to work on some pink ones. And they literally feel like my children, like the amount of care I put into them, like I feel like I build an emotional connection to each one of them. But yeah, my children will be up for sale by the time this video comes out, so if you want a pink axolotl, make sure to go check out my Etsy. Okay, so saying I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life is honestly kind of a lie, but it's also the truth because at the same time, what I don't know is if I'm gonna make it. From a very young age, I always knew I wanted to be an artist. I remember we had an assignment in kindergarten and the prompt was, what do you wanna be when you're older? And of course, that's like a ridiculous question to ask a six-year-old, but at the same time, there was sort of like some innate desire in me to draw a little stick figure with a beret on and a little like painter's palette. So yeah, like I knew I wanted to be an artist and that's what I thought an artist looked like so that's what I drew. I've taken art classes all throughout my school years and so art has always been a part of my life that I've indulged in and being creative is where I found I've flourished the most. I think somewhere at a certain point, I realized that I didn't want to go to college and that's still an internal battle I have with myself like every day because obviously like certain conflicts arrive whenever college doesn't seem like an option. A lot of people make the assumption that, oh, if you're not going to college, then you're probably just lazy and you don't want to work. And you know what? While that isn't entirely false, it's not that I don't want to work, it's just that I'm really scared of being trapped by a typical 9 to 5 job or the typical job you get with a degree. And I know that's just really generalizing college as like a definite thing, but from what I've seen that's like what most commonly happens. Because yeah, I'm sure if I went to college, I would get a degree, I would find a nice job to work at, and I'd be fine in life. But that limitation really scares me. I'm honestly just really scared of having regret and wondering what my life would have been like had I actually tried at something I wanted to do. I'm just constantly worried that if I choose the safe option, I'll never know what the other option, which is to follow my dreams, which sounds so stereotypical. I don't know, I've noticed a lot in movies and stuff, like following your dreams is the main theme and like everything revolves around a character just having ambition and following their dreams. Like I was watching La La Land recently and it's kind of basically like where what I feel like is I have to escape this life where we work to live or live to work. And I feel like that's so heavily emphasized in like movies and entertainment and stuff that, oh, like you need to follow your dreams and stuff. But it's like easier said than done, especially in the real world where like consequences and money and stuff like that is like constantly, you know, chasing after you. There's always a bill to be paid. There's always something that needs to be done. And so that's where the worry comes in for me is this might just be a really stupid decision on my part, but also being mediocre is such a genuine fear of mine. And it's not that I'm afraid of being normal because I think in every sense, I am just a normal person. I'm just a speck of dust on this earth, but I just know for a fact that if I did go to college, if I just pushed through that fear, I would be absolutely miserable. It's just one of those things like I don't have to push myself off a building to know that it's going to hurt, so why would I do it? But that being said, I know college would probably be a great growing experience for me. I'm sure it is. Like You learn new things, you build new connections and networking with people. And that's an opportunity I'm missing out on. But I just have a gut feeling that like that experience can also be experienced outside of college. And plus, I don't feel like putting myself thousands of dollars in debt just to have a growing experience because college is a commitment. I don't know, I'm not entirely writing off the idea of going to college, but I'm strongly leaning towards giving myself time to explore and experience the art that I want to create before. I do make any decision because honestly like expecting a 17, 18 year old, 19 year old to make that life decision is just crazy. You know, 
I'm turning 20 soon and I still feel as indecisive about it as I did when I was that age. So like maybe it's just something for me that I'm it's not meant for me. And I've spoken to a lot of creative people in my life and I've sort of noticed like a consistent theme is that they all kind of regret not following their heart. Um yeah, where was I? Um even if nothing comes out of the videos that I make or out of the silly little axolotls that I make, at least when I'm like 50, 60, 70, however old I get to be, I can say at least I tried and at least I know what would have happened instead of just being like, oh my god, I should have done this or I should have done that. If anyone here watching this is also a creative person and probably also has the same thoughts that I do because I know, I know this is like a pretty common like experience I guess. At times I do feel kind of guilty for not doing what society expects me to do or what American culture values. I just feel like I've always been different from that but at the same time I recognize that I still do have the privilege to even be able to worry about something like this. Like at the end of the day I'm grateful for having a place to live and eating food every day like just the core basic things that I feel like I always sort of forget whenever I'm wondering like oh my god what am I gonna do with the rest of my life it's not that it's like unimportant to worry about but I feel like you know the fact that I'm even worrying about it is a blessing in itself so I'm always like constantly reminding myself that I should be grateful for my life and the position I'm in so yeah that's sort of like where I'm at with that if there's one thing that I want out of this channel it's for me to use it as a creative release and for y'all in return to maybe be inspired by it because I know I do get inspired whenever I watch videos and stuff so I just want to be that person that's doing the inspiring and yeah so far I'm pretty content with the direction I'm going in even if I am a little uncertain or stuff doesn't make sense still but I do have a lot of exciting ideas and stuff for the future so yeah She laughs a lot, looks like a kitten to cry. I'd love to think she's mine.
Okay, so I just went to the mailbox and I ended up having like a lot of packages. Two of them are from my pen pals. It's just a coincidence that they both came at the same time because one of them is from my friend Haspa in England and um, she's also a YouTuber. They're both YouTubers, which is also like just pretty crazy like knowing that YouTube is a way for me to make friends and stuff. Like, I never would have thought that I would have made friends from YouTube. But yeah, this is her letter. I'm really excited to read it. I try not to tear it open. Oh my gosh, she did! She made it so cute! <laughs> oh! Her letter was so sweet. Thank you for the letter, Hafsfa. I will write you back as soon as I can. Um, and then I have my other pen pal friend, Kaylee. She's also a YouTuber. She makes really cool content. And it's like such a coincidence because we both live in Texas. And at one point, we both lived in the same city. We actually hung out pretty recently. And I never thought I would meet an online friend, let alone like a YouTuber friend, so just like, it's crazy. The connections that the world has to offer. Yeah, this is the package. And not to mention, both of them are so creative in their own unique way. And I just love like having creative people in my life because there's just like such a joy in expressing yourself and like being vulnerable. And I feel like handwritten letters are such a great way to do that, so yeah. She wrapped it so cute. So that was it for the letters. I'm really excited to write back to both of them. Um, I'm really grateful for my pen pal friends. All right, the next two packages are, I think, clothes. Let's see what this one is. I have no idea. This one is a cheetah print skirt and it's more of like an athletic type of material, like kind of like a tennis skirt, but I just thought it'd be really nice for summer and yeah, it's really cute. I got it for a fair price. This is a Custo, Custo Barcelona shirt. It's a, I don't know if it's Italian or French brand, but... One of those European brands. Yeah, it's, it's really cute. It has penguins on it. They're like disco penguins. But yeah, just thought it'd be really cool for summer. My summer wardrobe is taking its form already. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed like a little glimpse into my life and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.